Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another really cool arcade game video for you this evening. Doesn't get much more cool than this unless you're talking about that, but we're not. We're talking about this. This is Sega's Frogger. The legendary Frogger. Never mind the random video game you hear in the background. Can you tell what video game is playing in the background just by the noise? Probably not. It's just kind of ambient noise. Anyway, uh, this is uh, one of the alternate cabinets of Frogger. So we already filmed a video of a Frogger that you can see here on our YouTube channel. If you look down below, there is a link to it. And we did one about a year and a half ago or something like that. That was a really nice Frogger. And it was in the cabinet that you usually see. This one is a little bit different, so we figured we'd film a little video of it and uh, show you the difference between the two, cab the two cabinets. If you watch the other video, you'll see the uh, the other one. This one's in pretty nice shape, but not perfect. But considering, it's pretty nice. Now, the main difference on the on the other one is the the construction of the cabinet. So most of the uh, Sega Gremlin Sega Gremlin uh, was the name of the company that was making all of these Sega um, games like. Uh, is Terra Cresta the one that, that usually pops up? And Carnival's in a similar cabinet, but it's white. But the, the main difference is this cabinet is it uses a thinner plywood and it has it's like the laminated kind. The uh, uh, and it's plywood, which means it holds up better. The 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 usual ones are a little bit thicker, like a traditional cabinet, and they're that MDF uh, particle board stuff. So usually when you get uh, one of these Froggers, it's in fairly rough shape because the bottoms you know get wet and start disintegrating on you unfortunately but this is one of the cool plywood ones now whenever you see it um, the quickest way to tell the difference if you're like looking at one and you're thinking of buying one on Craigslist or something is by the coin door if it has the tall coin door like this it's this plywood one and if it has a, uh, a more square coin door with some chrome uh, squares on it where the, it has the roll down quarter max in the front of it, then it's the more traditional one. Now, either one's fine. It's just that uh, these plywood, plywood ones seem to hold up a little bit better. Another thing that we noticed about it that was a little bit different is this, uh, this artwork piece here. It's just a minor thing, but on the bezel, right there where it shows you all of the instructions, see how the background of it's gray? On the original one, I mean on the, the other cabinet, that's more white, just a little minor difference. So, um, I'm not sure if the if there's a difference on the control panel art or not, but look how neon the the little frogs are on this one. This is the original overlay, not in perfect shape, but in pretty good shape. Look how bright the frogs are. I looked at a picture of the the last one that we had, and it didn't seem like that was quite exactly the same. So they may have had a little bit. A different overlay on these cabinets as well. Now the marquee on this particular one is brand new. The other one had a crack in it so we replaced it with a brand new one that we got from Arcade Shop which is pretty nice. It's not perfect, nothing is, but Arcade Shop does really nice work in my opinion. So it came out nice and uh, it looks like the colors all match pretty well. Um, we also ordered the side art And uh, we talked a little bit about the side art on our other video of the other Frogger. But what we eventually figured out because of uh, people responding and doing a little research is that most of these didn't ship with side art. Because we were saying in the other video, how come none of these have side art if they're all peeled off or whatever? But it looks like from the factory, hardly any of these actually had Frogger side art on them. And people were speculating that the reason that they did that was so that you could use the same cabinet and uh, swap the other games into it like Carnival or Terra Cresta or whatever the other ones were that they used the same cabinet with and not have to worry about it having the wrong, the wrong side art because the, the games would ship with a new control panel and a new marquee. I don't know if they all shipped with a new bezel but I would imagine so. Um, so they were doing it just to make it a kind of an easy conversion to change this cabinet into a different Sega game. This one is certainly in pretty good shape. Check that out. Oh, there was a little 
serial number on the back. Serial number 103909. And up here it says designed and produced by Sega Enterprises Limited. 1212 Haneda Otaku Tokyo. Who knows what all that stands for? Well, I mean, obviously that's an address, but I mean, who knows what uh, that sticker's for? Another thing, too, since it's the smaller plywood, it uses the smaller T molding. So we didn't replace this. It's in fairly decent shape on the front. On the top, you can see some little paint specks on it. Uh, we didn't replace this, but it's similar to the stuff that's on the Nintendo cabinets. Except it's black, which is a little harder to find. Some of the Nintendo cabinets had that black stuff on it, too. So all in all, it came out pretty good. Like I said, it's the original CPO. Um, it's also the original bezel. And uh, a new marquee, new side art. But the cabinet, we just had to clean up a little bit. Uh, as for what we did to it, this had a, uh, a Naneo. Naneo, Naneo, N-A-N-A-O <laughs> monitor in it. Uh, with some issues and yeah, we rebuilt the monitor got it looking really nice and then uh, the game board uh, had it worked fine but the the power supply was bad so we replaced the power supply um, rebuilt the monitor cleaned 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 put new artwork on it and we've got a nice looking game so what I'll do is I'll get the tripod and I'll set it up and we'll play through it a little bit be right back. Forgot to mention a second ago, we also re we we did replace the plexiglass bezel, the front part. There's a little trim piece missing too around it, but most people don't even know that's supposed to be there, so no big deal. Now, if you've watched our other video, and you should, you should, then you've already seen us play Frogger. And if you've lived any time at all on this earth, you've already played Frogger. <laughs> so this will be uh, the same old, same old, but we'll try it out a little bit. Looks like we've got our, uh, see how the, if you look really close, the letters are bleeding a little bit. They're a little bit too bright. You see that? See how the blue sticks down a little bit? Whenever we set this all up, we did it in our other room on the other side. And... Uh, Sometimes you'll have a power voltage difference. Some people think that doesn't happen, but it absolutely happens. You'll have a voltage difference coming out of the wall. And so when you move it over here, the monitor is getting a little bit more power, like the voltage is slightly higher. And so your screen is slightly brighter. All of your, um, all of your signals are a little brighter. And it's, it's overdriving it a little bit. So we'll go in and turn that down a little bit, make it look a lot better. But we'll play it. Are you ready to help Frogger cross the road? <laughs> Gotta love that old music. get the first one. Let's get the first one first. What do you think? I should have got the, the mama frog. Still can, there we go. I had to move quick there to get those points, people. tried to jump in the hole where there's already a frog. 
I bet that kills you. That's right. I jumped on the back of the alligator. Give me some points. Some more points. Give me them points. That was dumb. I don't know why I did that. I should have just stayed on the one. Oh, man. The trailing tire caught my little frog leg. points little mama frog no oh, no it's the snake and I'm running out of time already snake people. Oh, the otter got me. snakes on the damn log. Look at him. I'm gonna need to borrow a quarter here real quick. Them points. Got glitched the sound. Sometimes this game was a little glitchy on the sound. Depending on when you things happen and the way things line up, sometimes the sound will cut out other sounds and stuff. I'm in trouble here, folks. Time up. Mm. It did me wrong. Well, there you go, folks. That is Sega's Frogger, a fantastic game. We just wanted to show off this cabinet variant if you uh, had never noticed that there were two different ones. We like this one a little better, but hey, Frogger's Frogger. If we get a clean one of the other kind in, we like those too. Now, by the time you see this video, Frogger may have hopped off to somebody else's game room. We might not even have it for sale anymore, so we're not necessarily just trying to sell you a game. We're just filming videos to show off uh, some of this uh, uh, obsolete technology because who knows how much longer this stuff will be around and still working. The day may come where you, you don't can't get any old monitors anymore or something. So you you know you can't see one of these that the way it was originally built. But that day has not came yet. So if you like the video, subscribe to us below and make sure you leave comments below. You can see all of our all of our games we do have for sale 
right now on lionsarcade.com. By the time you see this video, this one may have already sold, but you can go check at lionsarcade.com. We keep it very up to date. Or you can come and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. We've got a whole building full of arcade games at all times. Now, if you're not local, so you can't come by, just subscribe to us here on YouTube like I was talking about. Leave your comments below. Let us know what you think about this. Have you guys ever seen the, the plywood laminate version of this? And uh, what do you think about Frogger? Just leave us your comments below. And make sure you thumbs up the video. We love it when you thumbs up the video. It's one of our favorite things. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you, folks.